20-year-old Jahim Fitzgibbon was with his father last night off La Croix Boulevard when he was shot. He was helping to fix a van when the gunshots rang out, and both he and his father were injured. But though his father was only grazed, Fitzgibbon died instantly. His grandmother told us that she could not have expected to get the news last night. She says it was a tragic end to a joyful day. My day was okay. About, I did my, my work because I work out, so I had the out. I, in my house, in my land here, everything playing music. I don't know where this happiness came from, but I was happy out of the world. My other grandson called me, Maurice. Is that grand new out here? I say yes, I'm okay. How are you? He said, I'm good. He said, Grand, you're sure you're good? I should have known. He said, Grand, they just shut up Jaheem. I said, Maurice, don't run in joke. Not playing in. He said, Grand, this is an annual joke. He said, they shut up Jaheem and he died. And my phone, I just, I bawl. Every morning, every day, every night, I ask God to protect my grandchildren, eh? protect my whole family, wherever they are. Protect me, keep me safe. And Jaheim gets shot. And Roland said that Fitzgibbon debated whether he should have even left his home. And that fateful decision cost him his life. Jaheim was at home. Playing his game, his son, his father called and asked me to call help her. So he was deciding, should I go or should I not go? Tell a young lady that is in the house, he said, should I go? She tell her, no go if you don't want. He said, I'm going. He died with his mouth open and his eyes open. He did not see. He was standing in front of the vehicle. His back was turned. And they opened fire on him. When his father said that he ran after them and they fire shot at him. According to what I understand. So you think in this case, somebody was targeting his dad and caught him? I think that will happen because according to what I understand, his father had problems with some people, mm -hmm. right? So they came with the intention of shooting him. But they shot his son instead, and Roland recalled the last time she saw him, one day last month, when he visited her house. A little while he stayed and then he said, Gwena Gwen. I said, oh, Gwen already, he said, yes, Gwen Gwen, he said. Um, I said, walk here, Jahim. I said, take care of yourself, be safe, and I love you. He said, Gran, I love you too. I did not know that that would have been the last time I'd have seen him. my eldest grandson. He might have a leave first home, but you know, boy picked me when they go. But he is very mannerly. He, he still out of trouble. He know how the streets stand, so he not try to involve himself in a trouble. He's jovial, he likes game, he likes music. When he when he ready, he, he goes to work. He used to work at the radical. <laughs> you know, he hung out with his other brother by his father's side. Or hung out with his father, but most of the time he's home. Mm -hmm. He's at home. But last night he wasn't, and now his family is deeply grief stricken. But his grandmother had some words for the gunman. It is devastating. You know, people go about taking loved ones' of life like it's nothing. They don't know the pain that they inflict on this family. They don't know what they have done. They have taken away a precious jewel from us. <laughs> You know, but one thing I have to tell a shooter, may God bless him and bless him 10 times over and his family. That's all I have to tell him. Because he think he get where down here. 
but up there, you know, get wet. God, yeah, God will have a confrontation. You know, he's heartless. And they should stop. Take away people, loved ones from them. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.